So the reason why uh, I'm here is that because in the beginning they didn't know that I'm gay. But after me doing, after me hiding and getting my treatment, after hiding and after says no, it's now time for me to come out as a gay person that I am also a person who can take treatment. So I decided to be openly getting my treatment from here. But in the beginning, it was not really very easy. And I also more my friends who are just beginning on care, I know they are going through a lot. I've heard of the, 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 that coming injectable HIV treatment. And I think it will be so perfect if the doctors here in Uganda follow the procedures of giving it to some people. Reason being how it's going to be very important to my community, the LGBTI community. Promising results, okay? And uh, for those that are already, you know, participating in the injectable ART, uh, the ones that we are having are two monthly, okay? We give an injection for two months, and then you come every two months, okay? And then we, we, we do a number of tests on you to see whether or not uh, you're, you're doing well with the injectable ART. Of course, the others that are not participating still are continuing on the oral. Uh, but the good thing is that still, even though those ones on the orals are taking uh, very convenient regimens. One a day, maybe twice, one twice a day. So we have forgotten the other five pills twice a day, uh, the 10 pills a day. Those ones are all long gone. You know, moving with these drugs, there is a way it makes that sound. Wherever you're walking, that only sound it bumps, it messes your head when you hear that sound every morning that you have to and you hear that sound of um, drugs. It has a way to crack your, 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 your what? Your head. But, and another thing, also being with these uh, drugs, you have to take them every day. And if you're taking them at exactly 9 a.m., it should be that way until you, you die.